Alexander Hamilton's economics. Do we need them today? My name is Nancy Spanis, and I say we do. I am a public historian. I've been studying Alexander Hamilton since the middle of the 1970s, and particularly looking at the documents which he wrote that described his vision for the American economy. Subsequently, I've written two books on that question. One of them, the first, Hamilton versus Wall Street, the core principles of the American Revolution. And the second, just more recently, Defeating Slavery, Hamilton's American System Showed the Way. Both of those books deal with what the vision was of, that Hamilton had and what he put in place to turn us from a slave-based economy in many parts to an industrial economy that would prosper and bring peace to our nation and to the rest of the world. So in this class, the six weeks class that I will be teaching in the fall, we will go into Hamilton's political economy. We will focus on documents, particularly his report on manufacturers, and then trace those ideas through subsequent political periods with presidents such as Abraham Lincoln and Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who were the ones who most successfully carried through those ideas. So if you're prepared to really buckle down and look at some of that history, concentrating on original documents, then I hope you will join me and at the conclusion agree with me that, yes, we need Alexander Hamilton's economics today. Thank you very much.